Hey guys, welcome back to yet another interesting video based on uh, a new topic that is uh, in today's video I'll be talking regarding the blockchain technology which is the most widely used technologies in the current uh, banking system. So in today's video let's have an understanding or the basic overview of what this blockchain technology actually is. So many of the viewers and my uh, subscribers have suggested me to make a video on blockchain series. So here I am to uh, present you a new topic that is on blockchain. That is in today's video we will be covering all the issues which are there in the current banking system. So uh, with no further wait let's start what is this uh, issues with the current banking system which it has. So uh, I will not go with the definition of blockchain technology in this video but in the next consequent videos which will be coming. So in today's video uh, let's see what are the different issues which are there in the current banking system which is prevalent. So uh, let's have the very first one that is we have the transaction fees which is there which is a highly uh, levied transaction fees on each of the transactions from each and every bank. So it's like uh, there are two parties which is mutually uh, connected. You have the party one and party two and then you have the bank or some other third party service in between uh, like you have some paypal or bank something kind of that uh, then for example if party one wants to send hundred dollars to party two and if during that transaction a uh, two person transaction fee is uh, imposed on that hundred dollars you may get only ninety eight dollars to party two or you can send only ninety eight dollars to party two so uh, this is like uh, in every uh, system like whether it's a, a storage system also like if you buy a pen drive of 16 GB you may not get the complete 16 GB but something kind of 14.98 or 15 GB something around that so you don't get the output completely in any of the transactions so uh, that's where this uh, difficulty comes into picture and it's like uh, if you think that 2% is very smaller uh, then uh, you just are just ignoring these figures like if you have the hundred thousand dollars in that case and if you want to send over the same system with 2% levy transaction charges then your uh, the amount that would be directed would be 2000 that is dollar two thousand would be directed from that account so that accounts to a very large and huge amount when it's compared to ninety eight dollars so uh, this difference usually comes in this and this reports are basically from SNL financial and CNN money and it says that the JP Morgan Chase company and Bank of America and Wells Fargo uh, earned more than dollar six million from ATM and other overdraft fees in 2015. So uh, this is the where the transaction fees comes into picture. So it's like if you do any online transaction, whether it's net banking or some any other kind of debit or credit card services, you may charge uh, a lump sum amount of uh, fees into that. So uh, that's where the uh, the first uh, that is the transaction fees issue comes in the current banking system. Next you have the double spending issue that is there. So in double spending what happens is an error in digital cash system uh, in which the same digital token is spent twice or more. So it's like uh, there are two parties. Let's understand the help of an example. If party one is there and if party one wants to pay some amount or X dollars to party two then if party one doesn't have that much sufficient funds in his account then what is there he's levied some fees so that's called as post deck charges that's called as the point of sale declination charges so that's levied on the party one uh, if you don't have that much amount of sufficient funds in his account so that's another kind of uh, issue that is a double spending which is uh, occurred in this kind of uh, issue that is uh, in the current banking system uh, next you have the third type of uh, issues with the current banking system that is the net frauds and account hacking. So it's like a customer or a, some particular XYZ bank is calling to you a customer and then you're uh, being asked for giving the OTP or some code or some password or ping like that. So that's uh, more prevalent in India where many of the customers get cheated because of that. So asking for an OTP token or a password or a pin may be a case in this uh, for the issues with the current banking system in net frauds and account hacking uh, and then finally uh, it comes to financial crisis and crashes so for example if you have saved all your money and you are not depositing into bank and if you have some other kind of uh, some small scale organizations where you go just and pay some kind of amount there all your savings account 
amount and so uh, the savings money is given to some blind trusted third party which you just trust on some basis uh, which I don't know and then uh, it's lost somewhere due to some their negligence and some kind of internal frauds. So uh, this is where the financial crisis just comes into picture and then uh, the entire uh, empire goes down of that particular uh, customer. So uh, that should not be the case in the future. So for that to avoid that you have the blockchain technology which is there which is a decentralized system for maintaining all this issues and for dealing with all this so uh, that solution or the problems faced in this issues with the current banking system will be discussed or will be solved by blockchain in the next video and so that's what all about the issues with the current banking system is in blockchain so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you found you got educated watching this video please do like share comment and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to